problem on inverse the transformation using partial fraction expansion method here you should find out the time domain sequence of the z transform where x of z is 1 by 4 z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse for the different rocs first roc is modulus of z is greater than 1 by 2 second roc is z is less than 1 by 4 third one is that is 1 uh, 1 by 4 less than z less than 1 by 2 here. Okay. Now, x of z is equal to that is 1 by 4 z inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the power of 9. Here we do not need to factorize the denominator polynomial, already it is there in the factorized form. Anyway, the numerator polynomial degree is less than the denominator polynomial degree. Directly, we can go for its partial fraction expansion method. That is C1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus C2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the power of minus 1. Okay. Here, I will get what C1 has. C1 is equal to x of z into denominator of the that is x of z into denominator of c1 is 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse and get the value of z inverse by equating the denominator of c1 to 0 that is 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse is equal to 0 where z inverse is equal to 2 you we'll get c1 equals to 1 by 4 z inverse whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse that is 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse so write it you know that is z inverse is equal to 2 where this term and this term is get cancelled substitute the z inverse is equal to 2 you will get c1 is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 into 2 this one is get cancelled that is you'll get that is 1 by 2 divided by we have 1 by 2 answer is 1 similarly that c2 is equal to x of z into 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse okay whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse where z inverse is equal to 4 that is right so this is x of z we should write it has it this is 1 by 4 z inverse 1 by 4 z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 4 z is this is x of z multiply this x of z with the denominator of c2 that is 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse and equate the denominator of c2 to 0 to get the value of z inverse this term and this term is get cancelled you will get where z inverse has sorry so c2 has 1 by 4 into 4 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 into 4 you get that is this one doesn't get cancelled you'll get 2 1 ja 2 2 ja answer is you get minus 1 okay c1 is equal to 1 and c2 is equal to minus 1 okay now you can write x of z has c1 value is 1 that is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus c2 value is sorry c2 value is that is minus sign minus 1 is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse okay, now we should find out its time domain sequence x of n for different rocs first roc it says that z is greater than 1 by 2 okay here you check that this indicates the that is this 1 by 2 or 1 by 4 they are the radius of the circle roc if it is outside the circle it is radius is 1 by 2 here if the roc if the outside the circle radius is 1 by 2. here roc they say that z is greater than 1 by 2 that means if it is greater than 1 by 2 obviously it will be greater than 1 by 4 that means both the terms are right sided sequence right sided sequence are represented in terms of u of n hence the time domain sequence x of n is equal to 
you know that its inverse z transformation is 1 by 2 whole to the power of n into u of n because z transformation of a to the power of n into u of n is that is 1 divided by 1 minus a z inverse okay that's why we can write this x of n is 1 by 2 whole to the power of n into u of n minus this is 1 by 4 whole to the power of n into u of n okay this is for the first roc this is the answer for the first roc similarly for the second roc that is the given that z is modulus of z is less than 1 by 4 here for this roc time domain sequence x of n must be left sided sequence left sided sequence how do you write this is u of minus n minus 1 since I get a negative sign negative sign I need to adjust here that is x of n is equal to I will get 1 by 2 whole to the power of n negative sequence or left sided sequence represented as u of minus n minus 1 outside you need to adjust minus sign here similarly here this is minus 1 by 4 whole to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1 outside you adjust minus n here it will become x of n is equal to minus 1 by 2 whole to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1 minus of n will become plus that is 1 by 4 whole to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1 okay and these two that is u of minus n minus 1 is common I'll get 1 by 4 whole to the power of n minus 1 by 2 whole to the power of n okay with how common term is u of minus n minus 1 okay what is the third roc that is third roc it is 1 by 4 less than z less than 1 by 2 that means it is greater than 1 by 4 and less than 1 for this it is a left sided sequence and sorry for this it is a right sided sequence and for this it is a left sided sequence that is its roc it looks like this this is with the 1 by 4 radius this is with the radius is 1 by 2 roc is in the concentric ring okay now wherever you have 1 by 4 for this you write it is a left sided sequence sorry for 1 by 2 it is a left sided sequence for 1 by 4 it is a right sided sequence and the so, uh, time domain sequence x of n can be expressed as z is greater than uh, 1 by 4 sorry less than 1 by 2 and greater than 1 by 4 okay for this it is left sided sequence u of minus n minus 1 outside minus sign minus for this it is right sided sequence because it is outside the circle with radius is 1 by 2 1 by 4 whole to the power of n into u of n okay now the same problem we return the time domain sequence for 3 rocs this is outside circle, this for the inside circle, this is in the concentric ring, that means in, in between the two circles, okay. For right sided sequence, it is u of n, for left sided sequence, we should write it as u of minus n minus 1, outside minus sign, we need to adjust here, okay, thank you.